today, the camera team and I are fortunate enough to start a documentary series throughout the hunting reserves of the world. Our first stop is in the Spanish fields and mountains of a well-known hunting reserve known as Cuatro Colinas. It used to be ruled by the Spanish royal family, but many many years ago, it was entrusted into the hands of the Del Bosque family. In today's world, the 64 square kilometer reserve is run by Doña Alejandra del Bosque Garcia. It even today still houses some farmers who grow their crops in large and open fields, which hold everything from potatoes, sunflowers, lush olive groves, vast grape vines, and the best smelling lavender you will ever experience. But not all is well here in these areas. The wolves have started to become more restless in recent years. And so even our cameraman was advised to take a powerful 454 pistol with him for self-protection. On our first day, we arrive late at night and are staying at a lodge close to the left side of the reserve. They all seem rather new and great for a two-person stay, so one of us will need to sleep on the couch, but we will make it work. As the sun rises the next morning, we get ready for moving out and looking at what the reserve has to offer and to get a look at the beautiful animals that are around here. In total we will have 3 days to roam around through the reserve, but due to recent wolf attacks we are going to be limited to the north side of the river as the wolves here seem to be less aggressive. We are planning to return here later in our adventure though to look at what the south has to offer, but for now we will spend the time only in the north. Here we can find everything from the fast European hare and roe deer up to the beautiful, majestic red deer stags. We however are more interested in the ibex living in these more mountainous regions, more specifically the Bethidi ibex, which is known for its massive outward curving horns. Their Latin name is Caprac Pyrenaica Hispanica. These things can grow up to be 110 kilograms heavy, and a normal male's horn can grow up to being 70 centimeters in length and 23 centimeters in circumference. However, trophy animals are considered to have horn lengths upward of 90 centimeters and a circumference of 25 centimeters. So you definitely do not want to have one of them be angry at you, as they do have the potential to seriously hurting you. However, as we find out, they are more known for their shyness and being very wary, so in most cases they will flee before you can even get super close to them. For our hunting trip, we got some insight from Mrs. Garcia. She told us that she sees the goats drinking mostly in the mornings at around 9 a.m. in the top left part of the reserve, close to around the Mirador de Doña Emilia. She also gave us helpful information that these goats can be very fast and that their sense of sight and hearing is impeccable, but that their sense of smell is weaker than most other animals on the reserve, which is going to help us determine the right strategy for hunting them out here. After the first day of looking around, trying to get some footage of the goats and the beautiful landscape, we start searching for some nice spots that we could go to and then shoot the one ibex that we could bag during our trip. We end up finding this beautiful cliff with a lookout tower on top that we decided would be an optimal place to look around and find some good hiding spots and the areas with a beautiful view. The cliff seemed to be the best choice. After waiting for the ibex to come out and drink, we noticed that they are in huge groups of sometimes 15 to 16. It would be hard to find that one special ibex that would make this trip more memorable. But as we looked to the right, we see that one that is definitely more mature than the others as it has some above average horns on its head. The only problem is we need to take a 300 plus meter shot. Good thing that we went to the shooting range right before embarking on this journey and prepared for these types of situations. I did not have all my gear with me this morning, so we spent the rest of the day going around the reserve to learn some more about its history and the vegetation. The next morning finally arrived and we set out from Loggia de la Reina 
and headed west to get back to the top of the cliff. The sun was beautiful and I had my newly borrowed 6.5 that was given to us by one of the farmers to shoot this trophy animal. The wind was looking very nice and weak, so it would not have a big effect on the bullet. So we sit there, I lay down, we zero in, I take one final breath and shoot. As a 6.5 is not that powerful, he ran a little bit but we luckily see where he dropped. Now it's just a matter of walking down the cliff and have harvesting our ibex. Let's hope he scores big. But before we measure him, we want to try and get a nice trophy shot for a photo book at the end of the series. In total, we did not fully breach the 90 centimeter, but we definitely got close to it. As we now filled our harvest cap, let's get back to the lodge and pack our things to go to the next reserve. But with that being said, good night everyone and we'll see you next time for more animal cinematography and hunting. Bye bye.